guys, Andrea Mills here. Today I'm gonna give you a tour of my um, utility closet. That's what we call it. So this is the corner of Tom's and my bedroom and this is the utility closet door. That's the door that goes out to the living room. And then this was originally the um, closet door for this bedroom. Before we bought the house, someone had added in this other closet. So for a long time, this was Tom's closet and then this one was mine but eventually we just needed more space as our family grew we have eight children and um, we needed a place to store cleaning supplies and stuff like that so I moved my clothes out of here into Tom's closet and then this became a utility closet so right inside the closet we have this rack that we keep things on up on the top is the air fresheners for Tom's office and a few candle holders. Then we have a little candles and a lighter and Tom likes to burn incense sometimes so that's there. And then um, these are jump ropes and little handkerchiefs and some bubbles. These are actually gonna go out to our outdoor closet eventually but I haven't taken them out yet or I haven't got that closet taken care of yet so they're in here for right now. Then we have all of our batteries and an extra candle for the dresser. Next is spools of ribbon for gift wrap. And then down here, when we recently redid the closet, Tom cut the little shelf part off of these shelves, these two, and then just left this outer edge so that it could hold the gift wrap. There's still one down here at the bottom, so all the gift wrap has a place to rest, but then we can slide those in and it keeps them from rattling around. I also have my yard sticks in there. This is the spot where the kids like to come and sit sometimes when they are trying to memorize their scriptures or something like that and they want it to be quiet because this is like the quietest room in the house aside from our pantry but this room is really nice and cozy and warm. The pantry is pretty cold so this is like a favorite spot. They'll bring a pillow in here. Sometimes somebody will even come in here and do their schoolwork and they'll just close the door and kind of have their little private space in here. When we bought the house someone had kind of built an organizer in here but it was very difficult to get around. It was like really bulky and kind of stuck out the side and you had to really squeeze to get in here. So Tom built all these shelves for me and this is where I used to keep all my shoes and everything and then he put in these big spike nails and that's what I hung my clothes on. There's th uh, two, let's see, there was two on the other side maybe I can't remember so I could hang shorter things and then one over here to hang taller things but now we use this to hang up our vacuum cleaner we just hang uh, hang the um, vacuum kind of by the cord and it hangs there and then we flatten out the bottom or we fold it down so that it hangs flat there we also have our fly swatters hanging up on a hook right here and then just the other day I decided to move my bathroom scale in here since I did have it in um, our bedroom but there's no there's carpet on the floor so I'd always have to carry it somewhere else to actually use it so when I got this room redone the other day I decided to go ahead and just move it um, in here. I have all of our gift bags hanging up here on a hook and then up above Tom put in this shelf so I have my um, my like cotton batting for making blankets and stuffing for when we make little pillows and things are up there. There's also a couple of games that are too big for our game cupboard so they go right there and then these are the bags that we use for most of our traveling. Um, I keep them right here. We have more suitcases up in the attic but these are the ones I'm usually gonna grab when we're gonna go somewhere. Right along the side there is a fold-up table and we just tuck it in there and I just put these drawers in like a couple weeks ago and I'm really happy with how they turned out. I did this because um, when we put our new furnace up in the attic all of this had previously been shelf space and I lost that because we needed to run the duct work through here so we had to cut out all that shelf space and I had just never um, taken the time to really organize in here again so it was always becoming a mess all the time. I think eventually we'll put some sort of maybe a thin veneer or something over this so it looks nicer but anyways so when, since I had lost all that shelf space there's still some short shelves over here but I figured 
I really love how useful drawers are, so I decided to give up those little narrow shelves there in favor of putting these nice drawers here in the front. So down at the bottom, this drawer is for stuff that I bought for projects that we're going to work on that we haven't got to yet. Then we have light bulbs. This is for vacuum cleaner bags and our little bottles of shampoo stuff, our carpet shampooer. Next is mouse traps and those little fly traps and things like that. Then I have an emergency drawer that's got a few small flashlights, some matches and candles, and you can't see it, but I also keep an old style telephone in here because here it is. When the power goes out for any length of time, then of course cordless phones don't work and you can't charge your cell phones necessarily. So I just like to keep a regular old phone on hand because it can still be used with no power. Then this is a cleaning drawer. This has some of my um, microfiber cloths and random sponges and these little scrubbing pumas things. These are boxes of those like food service gloves that we use so the kids can use them when they don't want to touch yucky stuff. And then our dusters are in the next drawer. We normally have a feather duster in here, but I think I left it downstairs when I was working yesterday. Then in the other side we have some cups here at the bottom. Uh, this is where we keep our plastic utensils and straws. This is like gift bags and tissue paper. Bows for gift wrapping. Salt for the dishwasher. Extra boxes of aluminum foil and wax paper and things. Then I have some odd size baggies in here like these little small ones and just random ones. I've got some for like big loaves of bread and stuff like that in here too. Then this bar, our drawer has um, towels and like big towels and small ones that we use for cleaning. This has all of the spray paint in it and um, up here is the paint supplies. So we've got our drop cloth and paint trays and rollers and things like that are in that drawer. Then here on the top I have Thomas's tool bag, Tom's tool bag, some empty buckets for when we want those for cleaning and things. Before all these sh uh, drawers were here, there was another rack on the back door and so I didn't put anything down the lower parts. Just at the top I have a few cans of um, stain. That's actually the this door over here goes into the girls room because this was originally when the house was built their closet also. There had been a wall coming right down in the middle of the room so this half had been the closet for the girls room and then the other half was the closet for our room. So during all of my KonMari efforts I went through all of our paint cans that we had and I kept a quart of anything that I might actually use again. So all those are sitting here on these shelves, but it's not something I'll probably get into a lot. So even though I'm going to have to move some stuff to get them out, I'm not worried about that because I actually went around and touched up paint on everything before I put this in here too. So hopefully we won't need to get to it anytime soon. Then on this side at the very top, I have a couple of buckets just with some random cleaners and we've got some glass cleaner there. I was thinking about hanging up like a rack here with some spray bottles. So that might happen eventually. This basket has random hooks like those 3M hooks like the big size and some caster wheels. I just put those in there so that when I want them I can find them. And then this has uh, like a tape measure and a little hammer and screwdrivers and things like that. So when we just want to do a small repair on the house there's some tools right here. It's got a level and a stud finder and just few small things. Then down on the next shelf is this organizer that has lots of random things in it. I don't know what the appropriate name for things are so I just like screws that screws that didn't have a pointy tip. I call those flat tip screws and I put them all in this drawer. Whenever I find random screws I just put them in this closet in one of the drawers and then this one is the drawer of pointy screws. Like that. Then we have different hooks and rings, nuts and washers, and again, just when I collect things around the house and I'm like, I don't know what to do with this or I don't know what it is, I'll just throw them in one of these drawers. Drywall anchors, nails, wire guides, 
I think that's what you call these. Like there were different clips that you could put on things to hold wires in place. Cotter pins, Allen wrenches. We've got quite a collection from all the different furniture we put together. These are screwdriver bits that I have collected when I find them laying around. Extra vac um, extra belts for the vacuum cleaner, and we keep an extra thermal couple for the furnace because if that ever goes out in the winter and we have to wait till someplace opens to get one, it's a very unpleasant night. So we'd like to keep one on hand just in case. Then this had some electrical tape and a plug-in thing. We have some furniture glides in here. These are little random, these are little things that came off of our window screens that Tom needs to put back in, so I went ahead and put those in there. Magnets. Um, this is every other thing that didn't have a category went in this drawer. And we have some chains, and every once in a while Tom likes to get a couple links off or something, so I thought I'd keep those. And these are those little rings for curtains. And foam tape. And I guess I didn't label this one. It's just got string and a, some glue. And then off to the side I have some other kinds of like wood glue and craft glue and I think some WD-40 back there. Spray adhesive. Then next is all of my boxes of sandwich bags and other um, plastic storage bags for refilling the um, drawer in the kitchen. And then Way back there is some extra dish soap and rinse aid for the dishwasher. Then we have our paper plates and under that that's a giant thing of plastic wrap. Then I have my sorting baskets for when we have a big mess that needs sorted out. I take these and lay them out. I'll put a video link at the end here for those, for how we use those. And now our prize baskets, it's very hard to see in here, I'm sorry. But we have our prize basket in here now for game night. And then down on the floor, that's a little bit better, down on the floor we have a small circular saw and I'm not afraid to use that one so I like to keep it in the house. And then um, our little carpet, our little Bissell carpet shampooer. So that is my utility closet and I hope you enjoyed this little tour. I saw two rooms to go before we are done looking at everything in the whole house. Um, so hopefully we'll get those videos done. And thank you guys for coming over and spending a little bit of time with me today. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.